In the first problem, I did uh, I connected a potentiometer to analog zero, and then I connected my computer via USB. This is a pseudo UART. Actual UART, if you want to do, you have to do it with max. Okay, so in this case, we are using pseudo UART and then checking it. Either way, code is same. So that is the first problem. Problem two. Now let us uh, replace this fellow by a sensor. Okay, so this fellow we are eliminating with a sensor now. What sensor? A temperature sensor. Which exact temperature sensor we are using? We are using temperature 36 TMP 36 temperature sensor. This TMP 36 temperature sensor has three terminals: input, output, and the ground line. The first one is the power supply line. In the power supply line, I connect plus five volt. The last one is the ground line where I connect the ground and the central point is the signal line. So I take the signal line and I connect it to analog zero or any analog pin that you are into. This temperature 36 is a temperature sensor that gives you 10 millivolt for every degree centigrade. For every degree centigrade temperature, it gives you 10 millivolt output. So let us calibrate that and then convert it into digital data. As usual, we are interfacing this one with PC. Oh, yeah, you are. It's not actual you are. It is a pseudo you are through USB. So I take a temperature sensor alone. I take a power supply. I take a power supply here. This is something similar to a regulated power supply available in your lab. I take positive and connect it to this fellow. Negative, I connect it to this fellow. Right now, the variable end I connect it to a multimeter. Okay. So the negative point I connect is negative. Positive point I am connecting to the signal of this ground. Connecting that to the multimeter. Now, if you run the simulation. We are supplying 5 volt here. If I click the temperature signal, uh, you are seeing a small slider here, right? What I do, I will just pull this fellow to this uh, to my right, like this, and start. So if I zoom, you can see that there is a temperature signal here. So it is currently available at 25 degrees centigrade. I have a provision to simulate a temperature change from minus 40 on the left hand side to 150 on the right, 125 on the right hand side. So that is the lowest and highest temperature that this is sensor can measure. So for our understanding, let us keep this signal at zero degree centigrade. So when the signal is at zero degree centigrade, what is the analog value given by this fellow? 500 millivolt. So when the temperature is at zero degree centigrade, the analog value that is coming out of the sensor is 500 millivolt. So that I am noting it down. Value of, better I write it here. <sighs> 36 sensor at zero degree centigrade. The output is 500 millivolt. So for 10 degree centigrade, if I'm going to raise the temperature from 0 to 10, what is the value? 599. Okay. From 500 to 599. Roughly it is 600 millivolt. Uh, it is 600 millivolt. So from 0 degree centigrade, it is a 500 millivolt. 500 millivolt. For 10 degree centigrade, it is 600 millivolt. So what is the difference from 0 to 10 degree? For 10 degree rise in temperature, it is increasing from 500 to 600. So the change is 100 millivolt. So for 10 degree centigrade, if it is changing 100 millivolt, for 1 degree centigrade, it is 100 millivolt by 10. It is 10 millivolt per degree centigrade. For every 10 degree, for every degree rise in temperature, this sensor gives you an output of 10 millivolt. So can you predict and tell me what would be the value of this uh, analog value at 220 degree centigrade? What will be the analog value of this uh, temperature sensor if the temperature is increased to 20 degrees centigrade? So if I'm going to increase this fellow to 20 degrees centigrade, I can see that it is uh, uh, 30 degrees centigrade. Again, it will have a effect of this 30, 30. I'm not able to precisely position. For 30 degrees centigrade, it is 799 or 800. So every 100 degrees centigrade. So for 100 degrees centigrade, 1.5 volt. Why 1.5 volt? 0.5 volt are 500 millivolt when it is 0 degree centigrade. For 100 degree centigrade, for every degree centigrade, it is 10 millivolt. So 10 millivolt into 100 degree centigrade is 1000 millivolt. 1000 millivolt is 1 volt. So 1 volt plus already 0 0.5, 1 0.5. So I take our Arduino, I take a breadboard. So let us first uh, fix the power supply for the breadboard as usual. So let us uh, take the 5 volt line. And I also short circuit this line. Ground I can take from here. I can also short this ground and this. So that concludes my power part. TMP36 sensor. First one is power. Second one is the analog output. Third one is the ground. Middle pin is the output. 
it is somewhat similar to your potential mill. So what I do, I take this sensor and put it in the uh, breadboard. First one is the power supply line. So I take this uh, power supply and connect it to my power supply line. Last one is my ground line. So which I connect it to this ground line. And the uh, central flow is the signal. So instead of A0, I connect it to A1. There is nothing wrong in connecting it to A0. I'm just using it a different uh, signal, that's all. So this central fellow is going to A1, analog 1. So you can see this, analog 1. What is the problem statement? Interface, uh, TMP36, temperature sensor with Arduino, and measure the temperature value and display the same. PC 9600 baud, PC via UR at 9600 baud, every 500 or every 250 milliseconds or every one second temperature signal is a slow signal so i am putting a one second sampling interval so this problem and the previous problem are one at the same only difference is instead of 500 millisecond delay i am giving a one second delay and transmitting the data to pc instead of a potential meter i am connecting a temperature sensor. so what i am doing here i am connecting the analog signal to the temperature signal to a1 so let us uh, go back to our code and uh, uh, instead of A0, I change A1 because I'm connecting to channel 1. There's nothing wrong in connecting to channel 0, but I'm using channel 1. So uh, I go to uh, stop simulation, go to code, delete this code and paste it. Start the simulation. Uh, it is showing a number of 153. I'll just clear this. I'm not sure whether it is visible for you. It is showing 153. What is this 153? This 153 is the decimal equivalent of the analog signal that is coming. Okay. This 153, what are we doing essentially here? We are converting that analog signal into digital. And then we are simply printing that uh, digital value into serial port. So this ADC value is the digital value of the analog signal. But it is not reflecting the temperature value. What I want is the temperature value. What is the use of ADC value here? There is no point in displaying the ADC value. I cannot uh, say anything about 153. 153 is nothing to me. I want the information to be available in uh, in degree centigrade. Degree centigrade. So for that, what should I do? Uh, so we have to convert this uh, digital number into temperature. That is what is my idea. So how am I going to uh, convert this uh, into temperature? So we know that at uh, 0 degree centigrade, we get 500 millivolt or 0.5 volt. And TMP36 sensor gives you 10 millivolt for every degree centigrade. So this is the information that I know. So let us first convert the digital data that I receive into voltage. Only when we get the voltage, we can convert that into temperature. So from this temperature sensor, the ADC of the microcontroller gives you a digital value. From this digital value, we convert that into analog voltage. With this voltage information, we convert this into temperature. This is what we have to do. Okay, so this is, uh, uh, we have done this. We have interfaced the temperature sensor to ADC and we have used the analog read function and converted that into digital. So far, we are successful up to this place. Now we have to convert that digital number into analog voltage. So how to convert a digital value into analog voltage? What is the equation? For 1023 is the digital number. Analog voltage is 5 volt. For any X, uh, for any, uh, you know, ADC value or uh, uh, the actual value that is coming from ADC, what is the analog voltage here? 5 divided by 1023 multiplied by the digital value, whatever you are getting from the ADC. That would give you the analog value, isn't it? So 5 divided by 1023 multiplied by whatever is the value of the voltage that you are going. So that I do it here. Uh, let me convert all of them into float. Float, analog, so how to calculate analog voltage? Analog voltage equal to, what is the equation here? 1023 as digital input, 5 volt is my analog output. For ADC, X is nothing but ADC value, isn't it? For ADC value, amount of uh, digital data, what is the analog value? So 5 divided by 1023 into ADC value, into ADC, or 5 into ADC value by 1023. Either, either way, it is correct. So 5 into ADC value, 5 into this ADC value, volt divided by 1023. That will give me analog voltage. Then what I do, this analog voltage, I subtract analog voltage equal to 
analog voltage minus of 0.5. Hey, it's a plug 0.5 because this fellow always gives you 0.5 voltage uh, even for 0 degree centigrade. Yes or no? So if you subtract that, then you will get one analog voltage. So how do you calculate what is the temperature value? Temperature value equal to so the analog voltage. Let us say if the analog voltage is 1 volt, you end up in getting 100 degree centigrade. So what is the relationship between analog voltage and temperature? If you get 1 volt, I would end up in getting 100 degree centigrade. 1 volt is nothing but 1000 millivolt. So if I have 1000 millivolt, I get 100 degree centigrade. So what should I do here? Analog voltage is equal to analog voltage into 1000. So that will give you millivolts. Okay. Then what is do you do? For, for every 10 millivolt, if you are getting 1 degree centigrade, so this entire thing we have to divide this by 10. Whole thing divided by 10. Or this 10 will go here one times. So you simply multiply it by 100. So analog voltage into 100. This is my temperature. So you can define what is this temperature here. And simply pass on the temperature value in this and start the simulation. So it is showing 24. First check whether you are getting 24 in the uh, temperature part. It is showing 1 degree deviation, 25. In the actual calculation, we got 24. It is showing us 25. So let me increase the temperature to uh, 40 or 52. Uh, it is showing us 53. One degree uh, variation we are getting. It's fine. Now let me keep it at 100, uh, 100 degrees. 100 degrees. For 100 degrees centigrade, what are we getting? For 100, I am getting correctly. 